Hello, I'm Katrina, and welcome to day two of the 21 day challenge. 21 minutes a day for 21 days. Little changes to feel better and live bigger. As always, never push your body to the point of pain, only do what feels right for you and your ability. Make sure you've got your water nearby, and I'm going to start the timer. 21 minutes to keep me honest. Standing at the top of your mat, bringing your awareness to the soles of your feet, feeling grounded. Roll your shoulders back, open up through the fronts of the shoulders, the collarbones, opening up through the heart. Relax the shoulder, shoulders, and take a breath. Feel centered. Feel your mind beginning to reconnect to how your body is feeling and the flow of your breath. Take a breath in, sweep the arms forward and up. Just reach a little bit behind you and as you exhale, let your hands float down. Do that again, two more breaths. Moving your arms with your breath, taking that long, deep inhalation, pausing at the very top of your inhalation to get an extra little stretch and exhaling, releasing down. Let's do that one more time. Bring your hands to your lower belly. And now deepen your breath by engaging the belly with the breath. Feel the belly expand underneath your hands as you inhale. Feel the belly pull away with the exhale. If you feel comfortable, go ahead and close your eyes. Really bring your awareness inward. the hands. Inhale, sweeping the arms wide. Really try to bring the hands outside of the peripheral vision to feel the full stretch in the fronts of the shoulders. Cross the wrists, pay, pay attention to which hand is in the back, and then release with the exhalation. Inhaling once again. This time the other hand going in behind. And exhale. Really reaching with the hands, reaching with the arms. Relax the arms, bend the elbows, roll through the shoulders. Really big movements with the shoulders here. And change direction. your arms fall to your sides, wiggle your fingers, give your hands a shake. Now let your arms feel heavy. And as you exhale, just feel your shoulders drop. <sighs> Feels good. Now bend at the elbows, palms turned upwards. Spread your palms wide and spread your fingers like rays of sunshine. Tuck your elbows in towards your hips, upper arms in towards your ribcage, and just pull your thumbs back. Imagine you've got two plates in each hand. Now pulling your thumbs and your hands to the sides as much as you can, just until you feel the stretch in the fronts of the shoulders and the collarbones. Soften with your breath. Now draw the belly button inward, create some support through the midsection. Lift your eyes, look up to the corner where the wall meets the ceiling and open up through the collarbones a little bit more. Really opening through the heart. You'll feel the stretch through the fronts of the shoulders, the collarbones. <sighs> Feels good to stretch. A 
Adjust your gaze so you're looking straight ahead. Feel your shoulders stacking over top of your hips once again. So you had a little bit of curve in your spine, that's gone now. Now sweep the arms up, just reach out to the sides. Ooh, feel the shoulders. As you inhale, hands come together. Let the hands float down, palm pressing to palm, fingertip to fingertip. Rest your hands right in front of heart center. Bend your knees, step your right foot back. Step back, just a regular walking step. Push all the way down onto your heel. Now lengthen the, right, the left leg. Just put a little soft bend in the back of the knee. You don't want to overextend the knee joint, especially if you have a knee injury. Inhale, let the hands float up. And as you exhale, just let your hands sweep down, bringing your hands to your hips. Shoulder square, hips square. So you want your hips to feel level. With the left foot forward, it might feel like your left hip is forward, so you have to adjust ever so slightly. Now take a breath. And as you exhale, draw the belly button inward and hinge forward. Use your right heel to push into the mat and slowly bow at the hip, just until you begin to feel a stretch into the back of the left leg and or the outside, the IT band in the left leg. Keep your gaze beyond the top edge of your mat so that you stay long through the spine rather than rounding through the shoulders. So the stretch we got in the fronts of the shoulders just a few moments ago, we're not collapsing there through the collarbones. We're keeping the front of the body really broad, the back of the body nice and long. Don't hold your breath. Now push up. Bring your gaze down to your left knee. Keep the right heel anchored as you bend your left knee to point in the same direction as your left toes. Left knee over top of your ankle. Don't go past your ankle. Now lift your eyes. Hmm. Release your hands. Turn your palms forward. Relax through the shoulders. Keep the shoulders heavy and just let your arms float out to the sides. So your arms are really wide here. Now, even though you're gazing straight ahead, try to be aware of where your hands are in your peripheral vision. Thumbs pointing straight up, fingers pointing straight out. Lengthen through the arms as much as possible. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. You'll feel your shoulder blades kind of tickling the back of your rib cage here there's a little bit of curve in your spine. Now pull your hands back. Deepen the stretch in the fronts of the shoulders, collarbones. Feel now your shoulder blades pushing your heart forward. Breathe, of course. Inhale, let the hands float up. Keep the shoulders heavy. Palms straight forward this time. Now shift your weight forward. Push into the mat with your left heel. Shift forward, feeling your upper body, your arms. Create a diagonal line with your right heel. Breathe. This is hard. Remember, the farther you come forward, the more effort it takes. So if you need to pull your shoulders back ever so slightly to get a little bit of relief, that's fine. Do what's right for your body. Now with control, take a breath. As you exhale, sweep your arms around. Oh, hands to your hips. Lift up through the right heel, and then step forward. Release the hands. Standing tall, equal weight on both feet. Right back where we started. So now we get to do all of that on the other side. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> Let's 
Inhale, sweep the arms up. Bringing the hands together overhead, let the hands float down. Palm pressing to palm, fingertip to fingertip. <sighs> Inhale, sweep up. As you exhale, release the hands, bring your hands to your hips. And then step the left foot back. Slightly different order this time, but we're going to get there the same way. Left heel pushes down, long left leg, long right leg. Little softness in the back of the knee to protect the knee to avoid hyperextending the knee joint, especially if you have an injury. So take a breath. As you exhale, push with the left heel and hinge forward. Hip square, shoulder square. Look beyond the top edge of your mat, coming far enough forward just until you feel the stretch into the right leg, right hip, outer right leg. You might feel all of those, you might feel one of those, maybe none of those. If you don't feel any of them, ah, you need to go a little bit deeper. Keep your gaze beyond the top of your mat, about a foot or so beyond the top edge, so you're long through the back of the body. Keep the shoulders broad, elbows pointing out to the sides to keep the collarbones, the shoulders open. Reconnect to your breath, of course. If your mind wanders away from what's happening on your yoga mat, from what's happening in your body, bring it back. Return to your breath. Now lift up. Stacking shoulders over top of the hips once again. Look down at your right knee. Bend the right knee. Right knee over top of your ankle. Knee pointing in the same direction as your toes. Bringing the gaze straight ahead here. Release the hands. Shoulders heavy, turn the palms forward. Reach the arms straight out side to side, allowing the arms to float up with your inhalation. As you exhale, remind yourself again to relax through the shoulders, lengthen through the elbows. Palms open, fingers spread like rays of sunshine. Now begin to bring your hands back out of your peripheral vision as much as possible. Feel the stretch the fronts of the shoulders into the biceps from your fingertips right to the center of the sternum. Feeling the shoulder blades pushing the heart forward, forcing the front of the body to open. Breathe. Next breath in, slowly with control, let the arms float up. Keep the palms turned forward. Bring wrists over top of shoulders. Keep the shoulders heavy so all the reaching comes from the arms and the hands. Press with the left heel. Hinge your weight forward. Feel your weight shifting into your right leg. Feel the diagonal line from your left heel to your fingertips. Breathe through the stress of this physical effort. Even though it's work, think of softening with your breath. As your body tightens, the breath softens. So long as we stay mindful of staying connected to the breath. the arms, slowly let them come down, hands to your hips, lift the shoulders over top of the hips, come up onto the left big toe and then step forward, release the hands, 
Just feel the energy through the upper body there. Even though it was the legs doing most of the work, the big, big work, the shoulders had to work really hard there. So just let that energy kind of fizzle out. Hands to your hips. Now shifting your weight onto your left foot here. Equal out your hips. So as you shift your weight to your left foot, your left hip will pop up. So push down with the left hip to level out the right hip. Now float your right foot off the mat and as you inhale, just reach back and land on your big toe. Left knee is just soft. Now open up through the back of the right knee. Lengthen the back of the right knee as much as possible. Soften the left knee and sink into your right heel. Release the hands. As you inhale, sweep out, turning the palms forward. Now let the palms rotate all the way in and at the same time, bring your gaze upwards. Just look at the corner in front of you, not up at the sky where your hands are, but just the corner in front. Feel a C shape in your spine from your tailbone, curving up between your shoulder blades, back of your neck, and extending through the crown of your head. Keep the right heel pressing down so the back of the right leg is long. Feel the little challenges to your balance as your body sways. Notice how your body knows exactly what to do to stay sure-footed. A breath in. As you exhale, sweep your arms around. Hands to your hips. Remember to Peel the right heel off the mat first and then step forward. Shifting the weight into the right leg this time. Feel the right hip shift up, so push the right hip down, leveling off the left hip. Coming onto your left big toe, take a breath. And as you exhale, just slowly reach back with the left foot, land on the ball of the left big toe. Softening the right knee, just a little softness there. Now lengthen through the back of the left leg. And as you sink into your right knee, simultaneously sink into your left heel. Push down. Really engage the left heel down to the mat. Release the hands. Sweep out. Let the palms turn forward and then inward. Bringing wrists over top of shoulders, palms turned in, thumbs pointing behind. Lift your gaze to the corner in front of you. Extend the C shape of your spine from your tailbone, between your shoulders, back of the neck, crown of the head. Use your breath to reconnect to softness in the body and release tension. Literally letting go. Breath in, as you exhale, arms sweep down. Bring in your gaze forward once again, shoulders over top of hips, releasing the curve from the spine. Hands to your hips, peel the left heel off the mat, coming onto the ball of the big toe, and then step forward. Release the hands. Relaxing the shoulders, letting the weight of the arms pull the shoulders down away from the ears. Breath in, sweeping the arms up. A breath out, sweeping the arms wide. Bringing your hands to the tops of your knees. Put a little bend of your knees and rest your weight on your hands here. Pull the fronts of the shoulders wide. Take a breath. And as you exhale, scoop under. Chin tucks towards the chest, rounding through the lower back, feeling the stretch after doing 
those uh, back bends a moment ago. Now inhale, lift the eyes, look forward. Pull the fronts of the shoulders wide. And exhale, tuck in. Look at the top edge of the mat and just flatten out through the spine. Take a breath. And as you exhale, let your hands slide down your shins towards your ankles, wherever they happen to land. Whatever feels good, but pay attention to the lower back here and the stretch happening in the lower back. Keep the fronts of the shoulders broad so you're not rounding through the upper back. Just getting a good stretch through the lumbar spine here as the sit bones spread wide. Hmm. Breathe. With your next breath out, bend your knees and just move your hands one at a time to the tops of your knees for support. Use your hands on your knees to push, lifting your belly away from your thighs. Soles of the feet push into the mat. Release your hands. Sweep up and out as you take a big, beautiful breath in. Hands coming together overhead, bending the elbows, letting the hands flow down with the breath out. Pausing here, palm pressing to palm, hands right in front of heart center. Perfect timing. You go ahead and close your eyes. Let's just say a little blessing, send it out into the universe. May all beings be healthy. May all beings be happy. May all beings be loved. And may all beings be at peace. Thank you so much for making time for yourself today. And until next time, namaste.